beginning at verse number 35. St. John chapter 9, beginning at verse 35. If you are physically able, would you join us in standing as we give God's word words? St. John chapter 9, verse 35. The Bible says, Jesus heard that they had put him out. And finding him, he said, do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, Who is he? Lord, that I may believe in him. Yes, Lord. Jesus said to him, You have both seen him, and he is the one who is talking with you. Amen. He said, Lord, I believe. Mm. And he worshiped him. Right. For a few moments, would you look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor? Don't scare him, but I want you to say this loud. <laughs> say neighbor. 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 I, I will, will worship. worship. That's what I want to talk about. I will worship. Good to see Nicholas and Devontae here with us today. Grateful for their presence along with all of you.
story. I'll tell you a story about a man whom the Bible does not even give a name to. Say it, preacher. The Bible says that he was a man who was blind from his birth. Yeah. The disciples thought this man had sinned or his parents had sinned. Yeah. Jesus told his disciples, neither has sinned. He had sinned. His parents had sinned. The reason why he's blind is because I want to be able to show you the works. Yeah. That the Lord sent me to do. He says his situation was divinely orchestrated so that when he ran into me, I could show you what I'm all about. Amen. Amen. I think I'm trying to get somebody right now that can testify. You don't know why you are in what you're in. You don't know why you got to go through what you're going through. You don't know why God has chosen you to be the one to have to suffer. But can I tell you, like the man. Sometimes God divinely orchestrates our trials, our tribulations, and our suffering because God knows one day we will run into Jesus and Jesus ain't going to let us stay the way we are. So he said, I got to get this divinely orchestrated. He said, I got to work the works of him who sent me. Why did he say that? Because the night is coming and no man is coming. Work. He says, as long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. I told the man, go to the pool of Salon. He said, I want you to go wash your eyes. I want you to go. He put some dirt and spit on. Go wash your eyes. And he went and he washed his eyes. And when he came out of the water, say it, preacher. he could see. Say it, say it. He could see. When he came back to town, he had to face some religious people yeah. who did not believe him. And all they cared about was keeping the law. Hey. They said, we recognize you, sir. We know you were blind. How is it that you were blind? And how is it now that you can see? He said, I ran into a man named Jesus. When I ran into a man named Jesus, he washed, he put some spit and dirt on my eyes and told me to wash. I washed, and when I came up, I saw can I tell somebody, he ain't the only one that should have this testimony. Yeah. That one day, you and I could not see, but we met a man named Jesus. Yeah. And he came into our lives. I wish I had somebody here that could testify and say that you were blind too. But one day, you met a man named Jesus. And he washed you and cleansed you and caused you to see. The Pharisees were upset. Because it was a Sabbath day. Yeah. Now, wow. Jesus is taking influence from the religious leaders. Because the Pharisees wanted to keep a close hand upon the people so that the people would always believe them. They tried their best to discredit Jesus. Because sometimes People are so religious, we discredit the work of Jesus. Sometimes people want to be so routine that we restrict what Jesus can do. Pastor, you didn't stick to the program. That's not what the bulletin says. So what? Because if God wants to do a work, sometimes you have to change up. So the Pharisees that were upset, they questioned this man. They said, who is it that caused you to see? And then some of them even said, you ain't the blind man, it's somebody else. Come, bring his parents here. They brought his parents. His parents were afraid. They didn't want to get kicked out. They didn't want to be trouble. He, they said, is this your son? They said, yeah, that's our son. <laughs> what happened to him? They said, we don't know. All we know is he left him alive. But he came back sin. They said, you know what? We're not going to let y'all bother us. He's old enough to speak for himself. Damn, bitch, damn. They came back to the blind. The man who was blind, they said, how is it that you can see? The man said, look, I done told you already. I told you already. I met a man named Jesus. Why do you want to hear the story all I'm telling you, I was blind, but now I can see. It's amazing. Somehow, this man, maybe he's a prophet, I don't know who 
We don't want you back in the city. Because if you're going to tell anything about this man, if you're going to worship him, if you're going to be a disciple of him, you got to get out of here. So they drove him out, the Bible says. They kicked him out. They put him out. And Jesus heard that they put him out. And the Bible tells us that Jesus found him and said, do you believe in the Son of Man? Religious, but I'm 
You see me? He talking to me. Jesus, he said, okay, I believe. He said, Lord, I believe. He said, Lord, I believe. And when he had said that, the Bible says, and he worshiped him. Amen. Because genuine faith will always lead to worship. So, yeah, I said, yeah, genuine yeah. faith will always lead to worship. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He said, I believe, and in conjunction with also, he worship. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because when you have faith in God, when you have faith in God, you can't help. Because watch this, watch this. I'm done, I'll tell you this. The man had been rejected by everybody else. Hallelujah. Say it, preacher, say it. Out on the outskirts of town. The only one coming with him for was Lord. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And Jesus finishes his discussion with him. The man said, I can't help myself. He bowed down. You got to move around because to worship means to bow. Yeah. Amen. To lay prostrate before the Lord. Yeah. And he lifted up his head yeah. and he worshiped. Yeah. And that's how we know who has faith and who doesn't. Yeah. Because when you have faith, yeah. in spite of your circumstances, yeah. you will still worship yeah. in spite of where you are.
get on your nerves. Because somehow, I got to express my trust and faith in God. And if you sit behind me, your view may be blocked. Because I ain't going to sit down. Just because you ain't saying nothing. I'm going to show up. That even though I'm here yeah. and my circumstances are not there, I'm trusting him yeah. to handle what's out there yeah. while I'm in here. Yeah. Yeah. Say that, amen.
This ain't no joke. This ain't no play in the game. See, some folk, some folk actually look over to somebody else. And if they move, then they'll live there. Thank you, Lord. 